Hello everyone, it's Kylie Vitucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with an impromptu live YouTube because I have some winners to announce and some exciting news to share with you. I hope you're all well. When you jump on in, please let me know that you're here and that everything is good and we are live. You just never know with technology. <laughs> it, can, it can just decide to be glitchy one day and go, no, I'm not going to work for you today. Um, but it's all looking happy on this end. And when you jump on, just let me know where you're from. Maybe this is the first time you have been on one of our lives. And if so, we'd love to find out, love to see that. Excellent connection. I love seeing that big green button that says excellent connection. <laughs> it's like, yes, it's connected. <laughs> so uh, what we're here for is to basically uh, help everyone to see a bit more about our scrappy strip technique. Um, now, this is a technique that Bruno came up with because he's just such a little clever one. Hello everyone. Oh, everyone's jumping in now. Good to see you all. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Kylie. And Marie's here. Oh, so lovely to see you all. Uh, so with this scrappy strip technique challenge, um, I've decided that it was such good fun last month that we're going to do it again next month. And whether it continues, we shall see. We'll just test it out, but it's a lot of fun for now. And um, we had a lot of entries, which was really awesome to see. It's been a long time since you've watched one of the videos. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm glad I'm the one that's back. Yeah, I've been around, Linda. I had a little bit of time off when the... Um, when the COVID-19 um, first hit, I took a week off and thought, you know what? I just need to work out what's going on here. This is a bit cray cray. Um, and so I think that was really good for me to just, yeah, time out. <laughs> I need to need to find out what's going on here. Make sure all our family is safe. And um, yeah, it was a good time to just sort of think about what was important. And I'm glad I took that week. But other than that, I think I've been busier than ever before. <laughs> and I think most people are saying that. They're like, I, I thought, I honestly thought it was going to be a lot quieter. Um, but yeah, it's just been really, really busy. So, and a lot have been saying that as well. Now I've got some new cards to show you because it's our Scrappy Strip uh, Challenge winners that we're announcing. Bruno and I thought that we would take part as well. And we've used brand new product today for our scrappy strip technique. Because one thing that happens when I cut down my uh, designer series paper into Love It, Chop It, as many of you know, I love to do them into the card front sizes because I know I'm going to use it more so that way. So this is the beautiful Forever Greenery designer series paper that is brand new. Yes, we still have a Zoom a team meeting at four. <laughs> I know Kylie crams everything in, Caitlin. <laughs> um, but yes, this is awesome, awesome paper and it's double-sided, of course. But what ends up happening is I get little strips along the edge that are left over. And so that's really great uh, to use those little scrappy strips at the side on the edge to create some cards. So we had quite a bit of designer series paper, just the little scraps left over from this. So Bruno and I made some cards. So this is my card that I made using Bruno Scrappy Strip Technique. Oh my goodness. Check it out. I'll let you go really close to it. And I'm going to put it on my blog as well so that I can explain a few features about this card. Now what I like about this is that it's the regular Scrappy Strip but I've just been able to step it up a little bit by adding these beautiful elements at the front. And these are all part of the Forever Greenery Suite, which if you are just absolutely hanging out to get this suite, which I understand, you can join our team now. We've had five lovely new team members join the Crazy Crafters. 
um, so that they could get a discount and also get these brand new products early. Otherwise, you're going to wait until the 3rd of June. Ain't nobody got time for that. We want these new products now. Now, one thing that I really like about this one, there's a few elements that I will explain. So firstly, I've done some vellum embossing. So if you have the vellum cardstock, it is absolutely spectacular. I love my vellum cardstock from Stampin' Up. And I have embossed it behind. So you can see it just behind the sentiment there. It just adds that gorgeous extra texture. And it really embosses so well. So I've just punched that out with a circle. And that's sitting behind the sentiment. Then we also have these beautiful leaves here that are um, the dyes from the Forever Greenery. And that, that also is in the beautiful vellum. Then we also have another layer here, which these are these gold elements, right? Now, these beautiful gold elements, what I decided to do with my gold elements, which I highly recommend, I pulled them all apart and I've put them in one of our clear mount cases and even some of the outside the smaller ones I think I'll be able to use even the outside of them so that is my hot tip for you to just have it all ready to go because you just punch them all out which I love about this laser cut this time is that you can pull it all out and I thought if it's out and I don't have them in those sheets because I find that's very fragile and I'm freaking out because there's tissue paper and it stresses me out. I don't know if any of you have felt like that. So I don't have any more of this tissue paper freak out anymore. I just punt, put them all out and I even kept the little spare bits along the side and I'll show you how Bruno used those spare bits as well. Um, everything that I could possibly keep from that gold, the gold elements I've kept. There was a few things I thought, mm, no, they need to go. <laughs> But I've still, I've still kept these little outside bits because I think it would be, yeah, quite nice to see them used as well. Um, but this one here, I will show you the one that I used on my card today and what I did. Honestly, you get, look at all of these. That is one pack of the gold foil elements. Look how much is there whoa there's so much like so much you cannot believe it and these are really fine and really small like look how how fine and beautiful this is and you can use either side you can sponge the other side it's just beautiful but the one that I used in my card let's see if I can find it here to give oh yes it is that one I was like that looks like the one so that was the one that I used on my card. So as you can see, it's, um, you know, of a solid size. So what I did to create this element, and you don't have to, but I wanted to have layers upon layers. So I actually cut the inside piece out. I just followed the dots, followed the perforated edge and cut all of that out. And then I also cut it in half. So you can see how it overlaps at the top here. And I love that overlap. Like I thought, mm, am I gonna cut it down so it looks like it matches? But I think it just adds another extra element to it, the fact that it overlaps. And then I was able to stick it behind this punch here. Now, you must be asking, what is that punch, Kylie? Let me tell you, that's a very good question. <laughs> so that punch there is actually, actually the story label punch which you can find, I did a card previously, so I'll show you the full card, uh, this one here. So that's the full story label punch there. But all I've done is, and again, this is the gorgeous forever, this is the gold elements again, this is how much I love it. Um, so I just cut it from where it has the little nick. See how it's got like a little groove there? I just cut it from one side to the next, and look how perfect it looks there with it and that sentiment. Yeah. So your first live with us, Emery. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so I absolutely love that. And then I've embossed it in white and that's the pretty peacock there. The card base is the new jade. 
I love that color. Oh my goodness. It's just, oh, the new ink colors are spot on. I'm really, really excited about them. And then with the Pretty Peacock and all of these beautiful bluey green colors, it's just an absolutely stunning suite. So we are very, very excited by this suite. Hi, Kay. Maryborough in Queensland. Guess what? I was born there. Serious. Maryborough. And my grandfather still lives in Harvey Bay. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> so, um... That is my card. I'm glad you like. That's my ode to scrappy strips. Thank you, Bruno, for this technique. Ah, oh, Bruno said the same thing. Carly was born in Maribara. <laughs> I'm like, Maribara? <laughs> and there's a Maribara in Victoria as well. So sometimes I see it and then I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like, oh no, it's Victoria. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you've, Laurel said, you've opened my eyes to the possibilities of designer series paper. I love this paper. It's so gorgeous. It's your flight. first live too, Marilyn. So nice. I like doing different times just to, you know, mash it up. Carla's here. Hi, Carla. Now, are we ready for this? I've left the best to last because, you know, even though you don't want to admit that your husband does better cards than you, he does better cards than me. <laughs> His card. I absolutely love this. So you ready? Da, 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 da. Introducing Bruno's Scrappy Strip number two. <laughs> so what Bruno has done here, tell me what you think. I wish we had love hearts here on YouTube, but yeah, you can send love hearts in your messages. <laughs> But what I love about Bruno's card here, there's a few things that I love. Firstly, he's done the strips, but he's just put them as close together as he can. So usual side. Typical Bruno card, look how many layers there are there. There's like three layers of dimensionals, including the sentiment is on dimensionals. But there's a couple of elements here that I absolutely adore and I want to point out. Firstly, he has used this little trim of gold here. Can you see that bit of gold that's just layered over the paper? Well, that, my friends, are the scraps, the, the scrappy strips from the gold foil from the outside of the frame. So don't get rid of those. Um, and then he's also done the amazing, used the, set, the stamp set from the Forever Fern. But he's introduced this beautiful sunflower die that I think done like this. Oh, thank you for all your hearts. I love heart emojis. <laughs> um, I think with this card, it looks more geometric than it does flower. But it also softens the card. And it goes with this beautiful um, sweet so well because it is like floral. There's five layers of dimensionals. How many dimensionals did you use, Bruno? Can you remember? I reckon each layer must have about 10. It's probably used one whole sheet of dimensionals on this card, but that's fine. That's how we get the trips. <laughs> we earn the Stampin' Up! trips through Bruno. But we also absolutely love these gilded gems. And I'm telling you, we were talking about this. Bruno's like, I feel like it just needs another layer. And I kept going... I don't want you to add another layer because if you add another layer, it covers more of that beautiful sunflower dye and it just looks so good in the gold and the peacock. I'm like, I don't want you to cover it. Can you just sponge it? And he's like, mm, I don't know. And then he looked down and he goes, ah, a gold hoop. And I just went, stop it. Stop it. It's just going to look so good. So we adhered this, Bruno got some um, glue dots. He thought, oh, you know what, glue dots will work really well, which they do because you have a little bit of overhang, but you sort of just pinch them and then they they stick really nicely. They create a little bit of glub of stickiness. And so it raises it a little bit, the hoop, but really adheres it to your project. So it's a great way of adhering those hoops in case you're wondering how do I even glue these down? And if you don't know what the hoops are, these are the hoops. So this is a great way to use them to have it just as like a sentiment. And how perfect that it matches our punch perfectly. I'm pretty sure that's our two inch punch. 
So, 127, Connie. I went to bed at 3.30 last night. Naughty. Anyway, too much going on. There's too much fun to be had. There's all these new products. <laughs> So that is Bruno's beautiful card using this gorgeous stamp set and all of these beautiful products. And of course, has he done the inside? <gasps> Bruno, you've impressed me. He even did the inside. No nudie runs here. No naked cards. It's nice to do the inside. Did I do the inside of mine? That would be really funny if I didn't. Of course I did. And look what I did. I did a little bit extra of my scrappy strip. I added an extra bit and then chopped it and then added it inside. Doesn't that look cool? So much fun doing the inside too. So they are our beautiful forever um, greenery. So I'll take a photo. Our forever greenery cards. Uh, it's a suite. And you can only get this suite now if you're a demonstrator. So if you're really, really keen uh, getting this suite, remember that you can um, pay $182 for this suite here in Australia in June, or you can pay $169 instead, which means you get it cheaper. Um, would you like free postage too? Yeah, we can give you free postage too. And how about an extra $50 to spend? Would you like an extra $50? Instead of paying $182, Pay $169, get free postage, and an extra $50. <gasps> Tell me how. And get it a whole, like, two weeks earlier. What? H how is this possible? You just join Stampin' Up! You join our team. And then you get all of those amazing gifts. So if you know that this is going to be on your shopping list, do yourself a favour. Save some money. Well, we don't really save it. We just spend it on something else. But you're going to need to spend it on something else because there's so many beautiful products in this catalogue. Um, and come and join our team. We're going to have a, a team meeting today, a Zoom meeting at 4 o'clock, which is in half an hour. And we are going to be having lots of fun and social activity and connecting with each other. It's so good. So we'd love to have you in our Crazy Crafters team. In fact, Caitlin just joined this week. We've had five new ones join this month um, and it's been wonderful getting to know them and it's a great time to connect with people. So please, please, please ask us if you have any questions, concerns, anything you want to know about, we're here for you. Now, let's jump on over to our challenge page and I want to let you know, I've put the link up here on YouTube already for us to start adding our scrappy strip cards. And they could be, you know, this new design that Bruno's done. Whatever you do to save your scraps. Um, I've even seen, I think Jennifer McGuire did some beautiful cards as well using scrappy strips. She's just done little bits of it. And we'll probably see it even on the challenge page. There's lots of different ways you can use it. Um, this one is like my ode to the dino raw paper that's leaving us this month. <laughs> but would you even know that that's dino raw paper? Yeah, I did scrappy strips with that. And look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks like so fruity and fun, doesn't it? So I'm loving this. I'm addicted, totally. So what we can do is head over to my blog. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see what I see. I've been working hard to get the post up today, but I wanted to show you the scrappy strip gallery. Here we go. So what, what we did was once we added to our gallery, we then opened it up for people to vote, which is a lot of fun. It's, it's a really interactive and it's just a great way to connect with new demonstrators. But the cool thing is about our Scrappy Strip um, gallery is that you don't need a blog to take part. In fact, if you wanted to, you could just um, pin something to Pinterest and use that link. You could pin something or add it to Instagram and add that link. You could have no link at all and still add your card to the gallery. So that's what I like about this challenge is it's really opening it up to anyone who wants to take part, all we request is that the theme is thank you 
and that you use only Stampin' Up! products and current products if possible. That would be really great. Um, so we're going to, just so that then if we really love it, we can buy it. There's nothing worse than seeing a card you love and then finding out you can't get the stamp set. It's like, no, <laughs> please don't do this to me. It hurts too much. I want that stamp set so bad now. <laughs> I wanted it bad before, but now that I can't get it, I want it even worse. <laughs> so I'm going to share my page with you so we can announce our voted winners and then we will show you the winners we'll do a draw and we'll tell you who won some prizes as well isn't that fun this is so fun i'm so excited about this so here is our scrappy strip technique gallery now look at this beautiful gallery that we've got here full of these amazing cards and i will pop up the link actually for you to have a look at that gallery because there's just so many fantastic ideas on here that you can have a look now, if they don't have a link, that's okay um, because you can um, just contact that person maybe on Facebook or um, just search for their name. Maybe they've got um, some way of connecting with you um, or even if there's someone that you really want to co connect with, you can even email me and say, I really would love to connect with Sally because her card is so cute and I'd love to tell her that. Um, so yeah, just, just message us and we'll look after you. So these are our top 10 here. We've got Astrid. Look at her beautiful card. Now, Astrid has created a link. Um, so some of them don't link, but some do. If you hover over it, you should be able to tell which ones have a link. And Astrid's scrappy strip is just absolutely beautiful. It's breathtaking. In fact, look at that. It is amazing. And that's just done with cardstock. You don't even need to do it with designer series paper. So absolutely beautiful. So simple. And look at her inside. Isn't that cool? And that was the another card there that she did. And that's another version. See, that's totally another version of Scrappy Strips. It's like Scrappy Scraps. <laughs> it's the Scrappy Scrap card. <laughs> So definitely check out some of these amazing designers. We've got Laurie here as well. Laurie's done some beautiful things with that gorgeous Noble Peacock specialty designer series paper. Look how amazing that looks. So yeah, totally exciting. And look, the first question someone asked in here, Jilly Bean said, so stunning. How did you get the angles to line up? That was our number one question, Bruno Batucci. I was like, that's exactly what I, I'm like, I don't understand. Like, how long did that take you to be able to line these up the way you did, Bruno? I don't, and he's looking at me like, um, it was really easy. And I'm like, no, I don't get it. That's too hard. That's hurting my brain. It must be because you're an architect that I don't get it. <laughs> He's like, no, it was really easy. So I didn't believe him until he did a video for us. <laughs> I'm so glad I made him do the video. But look at this one with Denise. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, look at these ones. Lorraine, Kim, Denise, Melissa. Absolutely beautiful girls. Karen's done this one. Ewan, Nicole. Beautiful. Congratulations on all of those that have got votes. And I can see why we've got these beautiful top 10 cards. Absolutely spectacular. So big congratulations to all of you. And we will definitely be doing more of these scrappy strip galleries in the future. Now, I want to take you over and we'll do our winners for the draw. Um, let's see if I can find it. I think it might be over here. Sorry, bear with me. I, I'll put my face, my thinking face on while I look. <laughs> while I try and find. Oh, yeah, it was in QuickTime. That's right. <laughs> I'm like, which, which program did I use to do this? So our first draw that I'm going to show you is um, those that were outside of Australia because I have two lots of prizes because in Australia I can post some things. Um, but 
next month what we'll do is all digital content so that um, it'll just be one big draw, which is kind of cool. It's a lot of fun. So let's play this. I think I've got my volume up. Yes. So let's find out who our winners are. I love the music on here. It's so fun. Ready? Our first winner. Elaine! Please contact me, Elaine, so that you can get some digital content. I'll also contact you too. I'll write down all the names and send messages. I've got all your Facebook profiles. <laughs> oh, oh, Melissa! Congratulations! Next. So we have tutorial bundles and all sorts of cool stuff. So everyone can pick whichever tutorial they want. And Kim! Congratulations, Kim! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> well done! Well, that was exciting! Congratulations to you all! So I will be emailing or messaging. I'll find a way to get in touch with you girls so that I can let you know. Now, our next one is our Aussie draw. So the number one prize that we're giving away, so the first person that gets drawn is winning this amazing Stampin' Up! trimmer. Yes, a Stampin' trimmer. If you don't have the brand new trimmer, it is absolutely amazing i'm so happy with it so you definitely want to check out that new trimmer if you haven't got it already so let's find out who our winners are in australia so we'll have the number one prize is the trimmer and then after that we'll have some digital content for everyone else that is drawn as a winner in australia here we go Fran has got the trimmer. Congratulations, Fran. That's very exciting. Oh, Fiona. Well done. <laughs> I hate it when it does that tricky business. You're like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> So we will be contacting all of those winners and giving you some really cool digital content and also for Fran, she'll be getting that amazing um, trimmer, brand new Stampin' Up! trimmer. So, oh Nancy, you've learnt a lot. I'm so happy to hear that. That's so good. Brilliant. It's been so wonderful being with you all today. I, I know that it's a, um, a surprise impromptu drop-in. Uh, but we will be going live 10 a.m. tomorrow as well. And that's Australian uh, Eastern Time. So definitely look up. Um, actually, I probably should put a... Um, if you have a little look later, you'll probably get a notification that I'm going live so that you can see it in your time zone as well. Um, but... Oh, congratulations, Laurie. I know it's so exciting when you don't realise where you've placed and you're like, oh, I'm in the top 10. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. How does one get a card into the voting and are demos allowed? Very good question, Sandy. So, yes, absolutely anyone can take part. 
um, customers, demonstrators, anyone. So the best way to do it is basically I've in the um, information with this YouTube video, um, you'll probably see it when we're finished because it's a bit hard to see it when we're live, but I've added a link for the gallery and I've also added a tutorial video which will take you through step by step how to take part. So if you've never taken part in one of these galleries before, because it is a little bit different, um, it's, a, it's a different type of challenge, but what I love about it is that anyone can take part, whether you have a link to Instagram or a link to your blog or no link at all, you can, you can take part. Even you could use a link to your Facebook profile as long as it was a public like Facebook um, post, which you can do on your um, Facebook. Um, so it's really fun and it's just a great way to sort of get that feel for what it's like to inspire other people. Um, because I know in my team, I have a lot of girls that have incredible talent, like so, so, so talented. Oh, welcome, Elizabeth. And yet they don't have a blog and they don't have Instagram and they don't have any way of showing their amazing talent. So I really love that this challenge that we're doing, the Scrappy Strip Challenge, is just for anyone, really. Um, we do international highlights once a month. We do it a very similar way, but you do need a blog to take part in the international highlights. Um, so that's kind of a you know stepped up version of this one. And hopefully, if it inspires you enough that you think, oh my goodness, this is so much fun, I'd like to get a blog one day, then, you know, we've got training, we can teach you. We've taught so many, so many hundreds and hundreds of people how to create their own blog um, at a really affordable price, like crazy. People pay hundreds to get a website, but you can actually learn how to do it on your own um, I think each training we've got part one for $35 Australian and part two for $35 Australian. So um, $70 Australian, you'll have a blog up and running, which is a lot of fun. But, you know, baby steps. So this is just a baby step for, for those that are thinking, no, I don't really want to do blogging, but I'd like to share my cards. I'd like to inspire other people. So we hope that this will open up an opportunity to try scrappy strips, to try inspiring others, um, to have fun doing the voting and just meeting new people too and networking with each other over our fun scrappy strip technique. Thanks to Bruno. <laughs> Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> we're, all, we're all connecting because of this. So it'll be a lot of fun and it's a great way to use up your scraps. It's much better than putting them in the bin. Look how, look how beautiful these cards are. Those scraps could have ended up in the bin. Look look what we would have missed out on. We would have missed out on this beauty if we put those scraps in the bin. <laughs> How sad is that? <laughs> so thank you all so much for being here. We absolutely love all of you. We appreciate your support. If you're not following us, please subscribe to our blog. And if you know anyone that you think would like to try this scrappy strip challenge, please Share this with them. Share it and go, do you think we should try it? <gasps> I'm a bit nervous, but do you think we can do it together? Go and get a buddy and you can help each other. And just remember that we're here to help you too. You can message us, email us and go, oh my goodness, I'm so confused. I'm really scared that it's not right. And, it, and just by it, knowing that you have support and someone that's like, don't worry, it's all fine. I can help you. Um, we know literally how this system inside out and back to front. So even if you just sent us your picture, um, we can help you. We can help you get it in the gallery. But I have, we have absolute confidence in you. We know that you can do this because once you do it once and you work out how to add your photo to this gallery, you'll be like, is that it? what I was afraid of because once you get your head around what to do of course it's going to get easier every time you do it so just try it that first time don't be afraid we're here to help you um, we're not too busy for anyone I mean we're very busy but we're never going to say no we will get to you as soon as we can and we want to see you try some new things and just you know get out of your comfort zone a bit um, that's so good. Oh, Marilyn 
haven't signed up for our training. Oh, and you've just created a blog. <laughs> it makes me so happy when I hear that. That's really awesome. It's surprisingly, when you have a step-by-step -step video on what to do, click here, do this, do this. It's actually not so scary. It's like having someone next to you in your computer room going, do that. And then if you're like lost, you can just press rewind and then play again. Watch it a couple of times and then you eventually get it. <laughs> so thank you all very, very much. I'm heading off now to our team Zoom catch up for the on tour event for Stampin' Up! this week. We're very excited about that. And I have so many goodies to give away to them. Shh. They're going to be so excited. You want to see my favorite thing that we're giving away? They're going to die. They're going to be like, oh, are you serious? Hang on. Oh, stretchy, stretchy. Here it is. I've got it. I found it. I've got this many, so many gifts here. Bruno made me go through my cupboards and he's like, Kylie, seriously, they're just sitting in the cupboard. You need to do something good with them. So you ready? This is how it came. This is a gift from Stampin' Up! that we got given. And I think it needs a better home. So one of my girls in my team is going to receive this. Look at, look at the beautiful box. It's so beautiful. I was looking at it. I'm like, maybe I want to keep... No, Kylie, give it away. <laughs> and so then you open it up and it has this. It has vellum. And then you open it up and it has this. Look, it's like this Dampin' Up! logo is on this amazing planner. Well, it's actually like a travel, a travel um, satchel. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm really sad to part with it, but I must. It needs a better home than ours. Someone that will appreciate it really, 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 really lots. Okay, Caitlin's like, please, me. <laughs> So yes, we're going to have a lot of fun this afternoon and this is just one of many gifts that I'm giving to my beautiful team today because we're going to have a bit of a party. It's all good fun. So we'd love to have you in our team if you live in Australia. We'd love to spoil you too and have some fun and if you have any questions, we are here for you. We're here to help, whether it's with this or Stampin' Up! <laughs> You'll give it a good home. <laughs> I'm always happy, Julie, until Bruno makes me unhappy. No, Bruno makes me happy. <laughs> Although you don't see me in the morning. I'm not so happy then. <laughs> so have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon, evening slash morning, wherever you are in the world. And we shall see you very soon. I would love you to move to Australia, Sandy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> and we'll see you very soon in about... I have no many I have no idea how many hours probably like ready ready I'll try my maths 10 till 10 oh, okay I think I've got it 16 hours okay 16 hours from now around about and 10 minutes 